Good morning. It's Pastor Harold with Calvary Chapel, Roma Land, and it's Memorial Day today. And I want us to take just a moment to remember all of those who have fallen before us. Those of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, those, those of our National Guard, those of our Coast Guard, who have willingly gone through the training, they have enlisted, they have become officers, and they have passed on before us because they gave their lives in the service of their country. I want us to remember them because what they did was exactly what Jesus said. He said, Greater love hath no man than he laid down his life for another. And those who have gone before us, who have passed, who have given their lives freely, that you and I might have our protections, might be able to live in a country that is protected and free, um, we want to remember. And as I think of them, and as I remember them, I also think of what Jesus did to keep a memory alive. He, at the Last Supper, Passover, just before he went to the cross, he went ahead and he instituted what we call the Lord's Supper. He took the bread and he said, This is my body. And he broke it and he gave it. He took the cup. He said, This is my blood. And he gave it and the disciples drank. He said, as often as you eat of this bread, as often as you drink of this cup, you remember until I come again. And we need to do that. We need to do that exact thing. We need to remember the Lord on a daily basis. And when we come together for communion, we remember that he willingly shed his blood. He willingly gave his body that you and I might have eternal life. So on today, as we remember those who have fallen to protect our country and to give us the freedoms we experience, and as we remember our Lord who gave us salvation and eternal life, we just need to bow our heads and be thankful. Let's do that. Father, thank you. For those who have gone and laid down their lives for the sake of this country and for the sake of our freedoms, thank you, Lord. But more importantly, Father, we are so grateful for Jesus and the love he gave when he came to the cross and he died on our behalf that we might be forgiven of sin and we might have eternal life with you. Lord, thank you. We give you all the praise and glory and we ask that you would lead us and guide us and fill us today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all.